Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. What is the function of the pancreas? Is it A. Produces oxygen B. Secretes hormones and digestive enzymes C. Filters blood Or D. Controls body temperature The answer is B. Secretes hormones and digestive enzymes Did you know that the pancreas is like a multitasking organ in our body? Not only does it secrete insulin and glucagon to regulate blood sugar levels, but it also produces digestive enzymes that help break down food in the small intestine. Talk about a hard-working gland. Question 2. What is the chemical symbol for Einsteinium? Is it A. Yes. B. Y. C. L. Or D. N. The answer is A, yes. Einsteinium, with the chemical symbol ES, is named after physicist Albert Einstein. This element was first discovered in the debris of a thermonuclear explosion in 1952. It is a synthetic element that does not occur naturally on Earth and is primarily produced in nuclear reactors or particle accelerators. Question 3. Which dinosaur had a long, spiked tail? Is it A. Diplodocus B. Ankylosaurus C. Stegosaurus Or D. Tyrannosaurus rex The answer is C. Stegosaurus The Stegosaurus, known for its distinctive plates and spikes, had a tail with formidable weaponry. Interestingly, the spikes on its tail were not just for defense but also possibly used in mating rituals or establishing dominance within the herd. This unique feature added to the mystique of this ancient herbivore. Question 4. What is the word for a group of ravens? Is it a a seat? B. A charm. C. An unkindness. Or D. A run. The answer is C. An unkindness. In addition to being called an unkindness, a group of ravens can also be referred to as a conspiracy. This term originates from the belief that ravens would gather in large numbers and plot together, adding an intriguing and mysterious element to these intelligent birds' collective noun. Question 5. How fast, mph, can a kangaroo hop? Is it A. 50 B. 20 C. 40 Or D. 30 The answer is C. 40. Kangaroos are not only skilled hoppers but also efficient ones. These marsupials can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour while hopping, making them one of the fastest animals on land. Their powerful hind legs act like springs, propelling them forward with impressive agility and speed across the Australian outback. Question 6. Which Dutch company began marketing compact disc players in 1982? Is it A. Sony B. Philips C. ViewSonic Or D. Panasonic The answer is B. Philips Philips, the Dutch company that introduced compact disc players in 1982, initially faced skepticism from consumers who were accustomed to vinyl records. To demonstrate the durability of CDs, Philips executives reportedly ate a sandwich off a spinning CD player during a presentation, showcasing the scratch-resistant nature of this new technology. Question 7. What is the name of the scientific theory that states that the universe began with a singularity? 
Is it A. General Relativity B. Quantum Theory C. String Theory Or D. Big Bang Theory The answer is D. Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory was not initially accepted by all scientists. In fact, the term Big Bang was coined by astronomer Fred Hoyle in a radio broadcast in 1949 as a way to mock the theory. However, over time, evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory became overwhelming and it is now widely accepted in the scientific community. Question 8. What is a female whale known as? Is it A. A U? B. A cow? C. A worker? Or D. A bitch? The answer is B. A cow. Female whales, known as cows, play a crucial role in the social structure of whale pods. They are often the leaders and decision makers within their groups, guiding migration routes and protecting their young. These intelligent creatures exhibit strong maternal instincts and form close bonds with their offspring that can last a lifetime. As we bid adieu, remember, in the world of science and nature, curiosity is your best companion. Keep exploring, keep discovering. Farewell, fellow adventurers. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, stay safe and farewell for now. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.